Hey there, this is Luis Moreno with Simply Health Insurance Agency. Guys, today I'm going to tackle Medicare.gov and what you can do with them. So um, if you would, um, I have this channel, Simply Health Insurance Agency, and I would love if you guys would like this video, maybe comment or subscribe to our channel. I'm always coming up with information that I think would be useful for y'all. So I definitely appreciate you guys subscribing. Okay, so let's get to the uh, to Medicare.gov and what can you do on Medicare.gov? Why would you want to use it? And so I'm going to tackle that right now. Okay, so Medicare.gov, G-O-V. Make sure that you go to that site. Um, once you're on this site, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. On this video, I'm going to tackle the, the finding plants, okay? On the following video, I'm going to tackle creating an account and what you can do in that account. So let's start off with first finding plans. Okay, so you'll click on this button here. Now, when you proceed to this next screen, you can do one of two things. Number one, you can create an account or you can continue without logging in. In this video, we're going to continue without logging in. Now, a couple of questions that they want to know. First of all, what are you looking for? Are you looking for a Medicare Advantage plan? Are you looking for a just a Part D standalone drug plan? Are you looking for a Part D standalone drug plan with a Medigap or Medicare supplement policy or just a Medigap or Medicare supplement policy? So we're gonna do Medicare Advantage. You're gonna plug in your zip code. It's gonna pull up your county. Okay, if you're just in one county in that zip, then it's, it automatically checks it off. But if your zip code has different counties, you'll see them listed here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find, you're going to check off whether you get any help from any of these programs. Uh, I'm just going to go the easy route and choose I don't get help. Now, the next question it's going to ask you is, do you want to see drug comparison with the plans that are available in your area? So let's just choose yes. And then for these medications, where do you refill your prescriptions? Do you get them at a retail center? Do you, are you gonna do mail order or both? We're gonna make it easy. We're gonna choose both. Okay, now let's go ahead and add the drugs. And I'm just gonna do two drugs just to make it easy. I'm gonna type in metformin, a uh, common diabetic drug. And uh, we'll add that. And then let's go add, uh, the Cinepril, okay. Okay, well, I doubt, okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, I am gonna add Humalog, okay, because I know some carriers cover this one and some don't. So I'll show you how uh, that is going to work. Uh, let's go with the brand, okay. All right, so I'm gonna add them to my drug list um, and I'm gonna say that I'm done. Second thing I'm gonna do here under the drug section is I'm gonna choose my pharmacies. So I'm gonna do my Walgreens and HEB, which is a big grocery chain in our area. And I'm gonna hit done. Now what it's gonna do, it's gonna bring up the plants, okay? Now, a couple of things to make sure that you are checking off, that you're catching when you're determining what plan you'd like to enroll in, okay? Let's see if I can find this, this little catch here uh, make sure I don't see it here. Maybe it's the next couple of pages. In my county, we've got uh, 35 available plants. But make sure when you're doing a comparison here that you have this check mark here that says that this plan includes drugs. Okay. So what I'm going to choose here is I'm just going to choose three plans that that are available in my area that are very popular. So we'll choose uh, the United Healthcare Plan. Um, we'll go choose, let's see here, I'm just scrolling down here, I apologize for, for this, but I'm going to find three plans here, and let's go, I'm trying to find Humana, you know what, we'll choose Aetna, and where is Humana, it'll pop up here in a minute, there it is, so we'll choose Humana, so you've got three plans that you can put here at one time, now what I'm going to do here is a comparison, so it's going to put them all side by side. It's going to make it easier for me to do 
a visual comparison of the benefits. So you'll look at here and it'll say that you know, there's no premiums. It'll talk about your deductible for the medical side of things. It'll talk about your deductible for the prescription side of things. And then it'll get into your maximum out of, net, uh, out of pocket. So you'll see some different numbers. So you'll, you'll see this here. Now, as you scroll down, you're gonna, it's gonna get into some more details on the plants. Okay, so we know that we got United in the first column, we got Edna in the middle and Humana on, on the uh, third. Okay, so just some quick little things to look at. Primary doctor co-pays, specialist co-pays, um, test labs and imaging, what those co-pays or co-insurances could be. What would happen if you go into a hospital? Okay, just a, a little quickie here. With United, it's $100 per day for seven days, max. Okay, with, with Aetna, it's 325 days, days one through six. And Humana, it's $100 a day, one through five. Okay, now these are your extra benefits that you could get with these plans, like hearing, you're going to get dental, a vision, a wellness program, transportation. Uh, you'll get over the counter, which I know these plans have, that's not being listed here. And then we get to the drugs. This is important, guys. You've got to make sure that, you're, that the plan that you want to choose has the drugs that you're taking. So if you look at here at United, you will see it says three of three. It's telling me here that all three of the medications that I entered are covered. But look over here with Aetna and Humana. Only two of the three are covered. So let's find out which two of the three. I'll click on restrictions may, I, may apply. And it's telling me here with, with Aetna, this is Aetna, I believe, I think I clicked on that. Yes, with Aetna, this medication, where are we going here? I think I went a little too fast. Sorry about that. Hold on here. Let me find uh, my little screen that I had. I know with that, it was two out of three. It's here somewhere. I'm looking. I want my, oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Humalog is not covered, but it's telling me that lisinopril and metformin are tier one drugs. So good for those two, but not good for Humana. I'm out for Humalog. Now let's go back and let's go look at Humana. Okay, let's go see what they've got available or let's go see what drugs they are not covering. Same thing here, Humalog is not covered. Lisinopril and Metformin are tier ones. Important that you are aware of this because if you enroll one of these two plans and you go fill your prescriptions, you're going to get a little shocker here when you do, when you find out that Humalog is not covered by the plan that you enrolled in. And there may be a possibility that you can't switch. Okay, you'll be stuck with that plan for a year. So now you've got to start scrambling and figure out how you're going to get this Humalog insulin covered. So there's one more thing that is missing that is super important. And this is where an agent like myself can are, are, are extremely valuable to you. Number one, I wanna clear something up. Whether you enroll directly with a carrier or whether you enroll with a professional agent, whatever plan you're gonna get, it's not gonna be any better or any worse. Some people are afraid to use an agent because they think it's gonna be more expensive. If you look at these plans, and we're gonna go back to the very beginning of this comparison, there are no premium to these plants. So you can enroll directly or you can go through a professional agent like myself. I've been in the business since 1999. Okay, I know these plans backwards, forwards. Uh, I, I've, I've worked in this in the Medicare and the senior health industry for over 20 years. Okay, enrolling through and using an agent like myself is not gonna cost you any more. In fact, what I am going to do is I'm going to do a little more homework for you to make sure that the plan that I recommend for you is the best possible plan for you. Okay. The other thing that I'm going to check and make sure is that the doctors that you're seeing, okay, your, your, your primary care doctor, your specialist, maybe some other medical services or facilities that you're utilizing, 
I'm going to make sure that they're covered in the network. Now, that's one thing I'm going to do, but I'm also, if for some reason they're not in network, I'm going to make you aware of it. Okay. But I'm also going to be able to shop all the plans that are available. I am a Medicare insurance broker. So not only do I work with United, with Aetna, with Humana, but all the other carriers that are available in this county and or throughout Texas. So I can, you know, we, we are worth our weight in gold. We're going to make sure that you are enrolled in the right plan. So definitely don't be afraid to take advantage of an agent. We are extremely valuable. I'm going to put my phone number and my email there. Take advantage of us, guys, because we can definitely make sure that you're enrolled in the right plan. Okay. So with that being said, this is what Medicare.gov is for. Uh, it's a great research tool. Um, there's a lot of information that you can pull up from Medicare.gov. Um, you can click on the plan details and get some more specifics on here. There's even a directory here that you can utilize so that you can do a search for your doctors. Okay. So just what I just did here is I just went to United. It's logging me in. It's pulling up my county. It's telling me what plans are available in the county. Okay. We were looking at the secure horizons. Now what I can do here is I'm going to see if the doctor is covered. So it's going to log me in here and it is going to, you know, I'm going to start the work and now I'm going to type in the name of a doctor, you know, whatever it may be. And let's just go randomly. I'm going to choose John and let's go with John Steven. Okay. I'm going to click on him and it's going to tell me that he's in the network. Now, if his name didn't pop up, his name's not in, a, he's not in a network. So if you select this plan, you're not going to be able to see that doctor. You're going to either have to pay cash to see him or you're going to be forced to go see some other doctor. So again, agents like myself, extremely valuable resource for you seniors and don't be afraid to use us. Also, for those that speak Spanish, para ustedes que hablan español, yo sí hablo español. So I am bilingual. Uh, I can help Spanish. If, if, if that is your preferred language, no issue. I can communicate all this information to you in Spanish. So again, take advantage of us. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you would, again, do me a favor. Like this video. Give me a comment. If you'd like for me to help you out, I would be glad to. And then also subscribe to your channel. I'm regularly posting videos like this so that you can get the most out of it and become extremely knowledgeable with your healthcare. Again, thank you. This is Luis Moreno with Simply Health Insurance Agency.